Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Australia and this is the third and final leg of his three-nation visit. The leader landed in Sydney on Monday for the three-day visit. There he was greeted by the Indian diaspora. Then there was a community event meet in Sydney's biggest sporting arena, the Kudos Bank Arena. The 20,000-seater stadium had been completely sold out. Before the event, an Australian aircraft left behind contrails spelling Welcome Modi. Have a look. In fact, many Indian Australians took a charter flight dubbed Modi Airways. The one-way Qantas flight took off from Melbourne's airport. Supporters flew to Sydney to greet the Indian Prime Minister. Many were seen wearing tricoloured turbans and dancing to dholes. And soon the community meet kicked off. The stadium was jam-packed. The Premier was cheered by 20,000 overseas Indians. Supporters thronged the Kudos Bank Arena. The same indoor stadium has hosted international stars like Bruce Springsteen and the Backstreet Boys, by the way. Speaking of which, listen to what the Australian Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, had to say about this mass gathering. The last time I saw someone on the stage here was Bruce Springsteen and he didn't get the welcome that Prime Minister Modi has got. Prime Minister Modi is the boss. Yes, you heard it. Albanese said Modi's welcome rival that of legendary musician Bruce Springsteen. He called him, quote unquote, the boss. Such a huge gathering for a foreign leader is indeed a rare sight in Australia. The audience went gaga as the Indian leader addressed the gathering. In his speech, he hailed India as the mother of democracy and a bright spot in the global economy. He also announced plans to open a new Indian consulate in Brisbane soon. And that, by the way, is not the only plan that was unveiled to honour the India-Australia friendship. Prime Minister Modi and Prime Minister Albanese renamed a Sydney suburb as Little India. They laid the foundation stone for Little India Gateway in Harris Park. Harris Park is a hub of the Indian community in Western Sydney. Its Wigram, Marion and Station Streets are home to more than 20 eateries and a variety of shops selling colourful saris, glittering arm bangles and Indian spices as well. It is a home away from home for Indians. And speaking of Indian eateries, Prime Minister Modi also mentioned the Indian city of Lucknow, which is famous for its savoury delicacies and, of course, the beautiful architecture. You might not know this, but Australia also happens to have a town with the same name. However, it's not known if there is a link between the two. Prime Minister Modi also met Australian CEOs, business leaders, celebrity chefs, artists, singers... On Wednesday, he will be holding bilateral talks with Albanese and Governor General David Hurley. As you can see, India is strengthening ties with Australia and this is the Indian Prime Minister's second visit to its court partner since he assumed office. Albanese came to India only two months ago. Only rare relationships such as this one have undergone such dramatic transformations in just about a decade. And even fewer enjoy greater bipartisan support in Australia. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.